You know those rooms where like there's uh, one light but there's two switches so you go and you, you turn on the switch and the light turns on and then on the other side of the room you flip the switch the other way and the light turns off. So they, they keep turning the lights on and off. How do you wire that? I'm going to show you how to wire that because it's a good, it's a fun circuit problem. So the first thing is to realize that these require what's called a three pole switch. So I have one right here. This is actually a double sided. These two sides are different. So this has a connection point right here and right here, two points, and then a middle point. So you'll connect one wire here and you can connect a wire. If you want to use this as a normal switch, connect one wire here and one wire there, and then this is on. And when it's not connected, that's off, right? But if I connect another wire here, I can make that off, but then have it connect to another thing. So this is your light switch. To do this, you have to wire this up in a certain way. So this is a DC circuit, but the same thing would work if it's uh, AC. So here's your power supply. There's my battery right there. I'm gonna go to one switch. So here's my switch. It's got three poles I connect to the middle, and then I'm gonna have a wire going down there. That's the switch. And I could flip that from here to there, here to there. And then I'm gonna have two more wires going to another switch, and the middle pole of that comes back to the light bulb and then to the battery. And then you can see here, I'm gonna use this piece of chalk. Imagine this is my switch. So right now, it would not be on, right? The current comes out of here and you don't have a complete circuit, so the light does not turn on. If I switch this down here, now the current goes through here all the way through there, goes through the light bulb, it's on. Now let's say I have this on, and now I want to flip this switch. If I flip this switch, now it's off. Again, I have a break in the circuit. So no matter what you do, both switches can control the light. On, off, on, I mean sorry, on, off, on, off, and then if I keep that one there, off, on, off, on. Let's set it up. So I have here a circuit. Let me tilt this down. Sorry about that. Here's my circuit. I have a battery pack. I have two switches. And you'll notice that I connect. There's my light bulb right there. So it goes from the battery to the middle pole and then from one side to the other side of the switch, this side to that side of the switch, and then the middle of that comes to the light bulb and then back to the battery. Let's turn on the switch and didn't work. Check that out. Okay, I've got another switch. Check, 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 check. Oh, there we go, there's a loose wire right here. Okay, so it's on, off, on, off. Now I can go over here on, off, on, off. Now if I turn this one on, I can turn it off. It's just kind of fun, right? And actually I like these switches. They got a nice little, a nice little feel to them and I knocked that thing out again, I think. There. So that's how it works. Two switches, one light, they both turn it on. It takes a little bit of a trick, but that's the trick.